Today is Monday, April 15th, and welcome to my PCD life. So today is Patriots Day, and I'm in Boston. Uh, the Boston Marathon is today, and... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I am... I came in on Friday morning and have been spending the weekend with my Run the Year teammate, Sherry uh, uh, Zimmerman. <laughs> and it's, I have been having a great time. And we, I just took it easy on Friday. She, she came in later, she came in that evening. And then we went to the expo on Saturday, met up with some of the Run the Year uh, people for lunch. And I'm gonna be seeing them in a little bit. Uh, we're gonna be cheering at mile 21 and I'm excited about that. That's why I came out to meet people and to cheer and hopefully get to see um, Sherry as she goes by and some of the other Run the Year people. You know, it's so crowded that it's possible to miss people. But I'm also excited to see some of the elite athletes, uh, Tatiana McFadden, uh, Des Linden, um, Jordan Hase, uh, Joan Benoit uh, Samuelson. So, yeah, it's just, um, it's going to be cool, um, although it's wet out there. It's raining right now. So, anyway, um, so today's episode of my PCD Life is going to show videos. I did a video earlier with uh, Sherry um, for getting ready to run, and I'll do a video with her afterwards and hope to share some video at the cheering spot and uh, have some video of the athletes as they go flying by. So give you a little taste of what it's like to be part of 26.2 miles and what people look like at mile 21. So I also wanted to just share, um, you know, I had a bit of a rough night last night. Um, I just had this tickle in my throat and every time I, you know, I it was just coughing a lot and I was really worried that I was keeping Sherry up. You know, the last thing I want to do, she's preparing for this marathon is, you know, her not getting the sleep she needs. So this morning she said she didn't hear me, so I'm really happy about that. But I didn't get a lot of sleep and so um, for me, that's like my throat starts to get sore and um, you know, so I'm going to take it easy, waiting around in the room a little bit till hopefully the rain stops before I do go out there to cheer people on. And, um, but, you know, that is part of my PCD life. And, you know, usually at home when that happens, I can go downstairs and hack my head off all I, all I want to um, and not keep it up. But, um, you know, luckily, you know, it worked out and just take it easy today and get to bed early tonight. All right, um, I'm with Sherry Zimmerman. She is my awesome Run the Year teammate this year. <laughs> and we've been having a lot of fun, or at least I've been having a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun. <laughs> in Boston. Uh, today is Monday morning. It's a little after seven. And Sherry's been getting ready for her fourth Boston Marathon. So Sherry, how do you feel um, this morning? I'm excited. I'm nervous. A um, little worried about the rain. Um, but mostly just looking forward to, to racing today. Yeah, now, you know, this year should be a little better than last year. Oh, a lot was. better than last year, I think. <laughs> last year was so cold plus the rain and wind that we've got this year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cool. Um, so you have a plan worked out for, for running the race. So for people that don't know, who haven't done marathons before, it's a good idea. <laughs> and most runners who know what they're doing um, will have a plan on what pace they want to run for how many miles and They'll know ahead of time where the hills are and of course with this being sherry's fourth she's run those hills a few times so she knows what to expect yeah um yeah i've learned to run this course a little smarter than i did the first couple of times yeah so um i have a coach 
And so she's told me what to do, so that makes it easy. I don't have to figure it out myself. Um, first five miles, I'm gonna run at about an 8.50 pace. Um, that's, so that's being a little bit conservative. Then um, miles five through 16, I'll be running an 8.40 pace. Um, 16, mile 16 is about where the hills start. So uh, she wants me to slow down to about an 8.55 pace through the hills. And then um, at mile 21, top of Heartbreak Hill, when I get to the end of the hills, um, she said I can run 8.45 or faster, depending on how I feel. And it's, uh, so it's, it's downhill at the beginning of the race for about the first seven miles. So um, it really takes holding back. And that's one of the things that I didn't do um, the first couple of times I ran the race. And um, although it feels easy, it really does wear out the legs. So then you don't have anything left for the hills later on. So um, last year, um, I think I ran about an 8.30 pace the last 5K, which is again, all downhill um, because I was feeling really strong. So I'm, I'm hoping I feel like that again this year. Yeah, because you're hoping to get a PR. I'm hoping for a PR. Um, my current PR is 352.40. And um, we're shooting for 351 this year, which would also qualify me for New York City. Very cool. Yeah, so, you know, I always have a few goals. So my first goal is to PR. My second goal is um, just another Boston qualifying time, which for me, that would be 355 this year. And, um, and then I always, my third goal is just to cross that finish line. So if, if I can accomplish any, any three of those goals, um, I'll, I'll cross the finish line with a smile on my face, um, but if I get the, the 351, um, I'll, I'll, I'll be giddy um, and very and, and just emotional. Actually, first, I'll, 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 probably, um, I'll probably cry. Um, it's, it's an overwhelming feeling crossing the, the Boston Marathon finish line. It's just uh, um, an, an amazing experience. Well, and I look forward to hugging you and <laughs> congratulating you when all of that happens at the, um, around three o'clock today. Be around that time. A little before. A Hopefully little before. a little before that. It will be before. <laughs> yep. So. Yeah. Well, thanks, Mary. I appreciate it. <laughs> so here's the spectacular view from our hotel room. <laughs> but we can at least see what the weather is like. It's marathon morning, Sherry just left, and as you can see, it is raining. Um, and it's a little chilly out there, even though it says it's 63. Okay, all right, so here we are at mile 21, with the run the year. So we're cheering on the runners. Well, the runners haven't come by, the cyclists have. Good job. Woo! All right, we're doing good so far. 
And here's how it looks from the room now. It's, uh, I don't know, four or five. And uh, you can see the blue skies and no rain on the rooftop from the hotel. So, um, Sherry, um, this, well, Sherry's done with the race and has come back to the room and showered. And uh, so how are you feeling? Pretty tired. I'm glad it's done. That, it was a very difficult marathon. I hadn't anticipated it feeling as difficult as it did. Yeah. So it, I was pretty glad just to, just to finish. Yeah, so you didn't, unfortunately, you didn't make your goal time. Nope, um, didn't make the 351, um, didn't make the 355 I would need for the BQ. And, and once I realized that those were not going to happen, um, I, I just stopped worrying about it and, and just focused on being able to finish and um, even took out my phone and took a, a, a couple of photos of the Sitco sign, which I've never done before when I've been running. Um, and uh, just, you know, just tried to just have the, the best race I could at that point. Yeah. I mean, it was nice being able to see cheer you on at that, mile 21. And that's the first time I've seen the Run the Year group. So that was really cool. Yeah. And, um, you know, you were looking like you were, you were on pace, you know, at least from what the tracker was saying um, until the end. So. Well, and, and I tried not to let you guys see how awful I was feeling at that oh. point. And plus the <laughs> excitement of seeing you guys, you know, so I, my, like my pace really uh, sped up as I was as running running past you guys. Plus I knew the, the awful hills were done. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that made me happy. Um, but no, I was hurting pretty bad by that point. No. Well, I mean, I think it's, you know, I just think it's awesome. You, you know, you finished, um, it, it was warmer. You know, I think, you know, the sun did wind up coming out for a bit. So a real mix of temperatures today yeah. between rain and, and, you know, almost really hard rain mm -hmm. at times this morning. And um, you had some rain when you finished too. Yeah, I, I really didn't have rain at the beginning that I recall. Okay. Um, it, was, uh, it was a little overcast and then the sun came out and it, it felt pretty warm. Even when it was overcast, um, very humid. Um, so that might have been a factor. Um, and then with the, the sun, um, I do remember feeling pretty hot. Um, uh, and, and, then, and then cold at the finish and walking back to the hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, congratulations. It just, you know, this is your fourth Boston. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just, you know, to me, very cool. And so for those of you who are unfamiliar uh, with Boston, Sherry's wearing the finisher jacket uh, that she purchased at the expo. Yep, called uh, the celebration jacket. And you can see Spike. Spike is the official mascot. And there's her medal. And I'm just going to show you her feet. <laughs> just don't look too close at the toes. Um, and then these are her uh, Boston uh, post-marathon shoes. Her, uh, not slippers, but, you know, kind of flip-flops. They are very comfortable. Um, and I'm hoping to get a pair in New York. Hi. So it's Tuesday um, in the afternoon, about probably 2.30, um, April 16th. And today's my last day in Boston. Had um, a great time. Um, had a really good time with Sherry. And uh, so she left around one o'clock to catch her flight. My flight's not until nine o'clock. So um, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed hearing um, what her goals were. And you know, unfortunately she didn't make it um, the goal for the race, but she finished and we were walking around today and she was moving great until we got to stairs and had to use the railing and you know um but she was <laughs> moving a lot better than a lot of other people um we saw out there today so um you know one of the things i just wanted to talk about as part of my pcd life is when so traveling um Tuesday, uh, Friday when I got in, um, got up really early, so 3.30 in the morning, and just kind of relaxed, 
I was able to get into the hotel room when I got here. That was awesome um, at uh, 9, 10 a.m. And so I just kind of hung out into the, in the room until Sherry got here and uh, was going to go to the 5K race on Saturday to cheer her on and some of the other Run the Year people. Um, but wasn't feeling well. Uh, so, you know, one of the things for me that sort of shows something is, gonna, is coming on is my throat. So you, you'll see my scarf. I will wear scarves almost year round because somehow just protecting my throat um, will make me feel a little better, stave off getting sick. I know it sounds weird, but it's just it's like one of these threshold things. So, um, so that morning, um, got up to go to the race, but I wasn't feeling well and was feeling kind of in through here in my neck. Um, yeah, just like, you know, I needed to be careful. So I went back to bed and, you know, got a couple more hours of sleep, um, when Sherry went off to do the 5k and felt well enough to go out for the rest of the day. And, um, I felt really bad marathon night. Okay, so Sunday night, I just, I started one of my coughing fits. And, you know, that's, you know, she had the marathon and I felt like I was gonna keep her up. She said she never hurt me, so I'm very happy about that. But I kind of huddled <laughs> in the bathroom trying to cough as quietly as I could um, and not keep her up. And I only got about four hours of sleep. Um, so luckily I wasn't doing the marathon and um, and like I said, I'm really glad that I did not disrupt her sleep, you know, so those are some of the things, you know, I was a little nervous rooming with somebody um, that I didn't know as, you know, it just, yeah, I, you know, I just get, I get nervous um, rooming with people just because of the coughing, you know, what if I have one of my coughing fits that night and I'm keeping them up, so... I'm glad things worked out and had a really lovely time with her and you know I had talked to her ahead of time and she said she knew somebody I think in college who had CF so she was familiar with the coughing and the needing to clear the lungs so I did feel more comfortable um, that she would understand what it was like so um, yeah had a great time and um, would love to run Boston one day <laughs> if I'm if I'm able. Um, so thank you for um, following this episode of my PCD life.